This is Embroidery Central's and Brilliance Tips. I want to tell you a little bit about the difference between working files and stitch files. So I have a design that was created in Stitch Artist and I would like to make some changes to it. And here it is, it's called Diamond 6N, but look I have two of them. One of these is a working file, one is a stitch file. Which is which? They look exactly the same in this view. So I'm just going to pick one and open it and let's have a look. Okay, if I click the plus over in the objects to see all the objects, even if I click the create menu, which is which opens my Stitch Artist tools, what it shows me in the objects is not stitch types. It's showing me color numbers and thread brands. That's not what I need in order to edit this file with Stitch Artist. So you see, it's not recognizing that this is an applique. It just shows me the stitches. And because I have Enthusiast loaded on this program, I, I can change the density of the satin stitches, but that's about the extent of what I can do here. It was not going to let me edit the applique the way that I want to, unless I open the working file. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I go over to my file and click open. And here in the file open window, are a lot of different options. So let's go and look at our diamonds design again. Here it is, there's two of them. And if I just want the working file, I'm going to the Files of Type drop down box at the bottom and click Working Files BE. And now this shows me just one file for diamonds. That's the one I want, so I'm going to open it. And if I click my Stitch Artist tools, there they all are. And if I click the plus here on the Objects panel, I can tell that each of these is an applique. Furthermore, in the properties below, I now have an applique box that I can use to change the properties of the applique. So I can take the border and change it to an e-stitch or to a blanket. And so that's the main difference of between the stitch files and the working files. The stitch files has all the information your embroidery machine needs. The working file has all the information you need to edit. and. Um, there's really no comparison between the two for each job. That's an Embrilliance tip from Embroidery Central.